Alright guys, this is the video about uh, Ubuntu 10.10 10, um, on your USB port and let, let's get started uh, Alright, first you want to go to the Ubuntu website that is www.ubuntu.com this is the Linux system so I just want to let you know um, I tried this it's worked great I'll show you step by step and should helpful to you guys okay and I will put the link down there in the bottom alright so the next thing you want to do is download the Ubuntu okay okay now this page actually describe everything I mean if you read all this you don't even need to watch this video if you read all this step by step but well let's get started as, as this is the Ubuntu 10.10 .10, the latest version and uh, I'm going to choose 64 bit of this and as you can see it says start download Ubuntu 10.10 bit. it take about uh, a one to two hours to get uh, everything ready to go um, so you just better want to download first now just click on here and start download and once you click it here it should say start download and there you go you can see here I'm not going to download whole because uh, I already have this in my folder and so okay I cancel that out okay and next thing you wanna go is to is to see the second step it says uh, CD or USB and then you wanna go here and then show me how uh, once you go there you wanna download this software um, it is the second one it says download the universal USB installer I will put the link as well for this one and and uh, it, it gives you step by step everything here um, how to do all this stuff so uh, no need to worry but then if you click here you will be automatically sent to this page you wanna go all the way down it says download download this okay once you download you wanna close this window I'm using one of my other hands to get the camera so I'm sorry if it's not really good um, you wanna go to download wherever you download your stuff at um, this is the Universal USB installer 1.8.3 and uh, like I said this is the Ubuntu 10.10 .10. it's a desktop 64 bit ISO file I already download that and so the next thing you want to do is double click open this uh, give the permissions and say yes okay it's it's going to ask you all this uh, just just to I agree once you once you are here uh, it's an easy step you wanna select this you wanna go to the first one you went to 10.10 .10. now if you directly wanna download from here I mean you can do that um, if you already have in file it, it's automatically going to find the find the ISO file because if you have one of the file like this is the one I already have um, I don't need to do anything it just provide me easily now here you wanna select this so all the drivers <coughs> now once you have everything select select the drivers that is in in the like like you wanna choose your USB I'm going to plug it in okay I already installed the Ubuntu on mine so I mean I don't have to do anything but as you can see it is on my edge 
edge drive and um, when you come here you want to select this as an edge okay once you do that just just select create and then you just want to do two more steps uh, it's easy I don't think you need a video for that okay so I'm just going to close this it's going to create a create a, a ISO image into your USB flash drive all right uh, the next thing you want to do is uh, just restart your computer alright so you just wanna restart the computer this is the Windows 7 home premium and this is my laptop once you go there um, you should have like a, like a BIOS menu some the key should be F1 to F2 or maybe F3 um, it might be a DEL delete key um, it depends on your system every system has a different BIOS okay now this is the BIOS you wanna go to all the way down to the boot menu okay um, and choose USB HDD as uh, minus Sandisk U3 Cruiser Micro okay that's that's mine that's that's the USB that I saved on and so you wanna put this all the way at the first one so whenever it's going to restart I mean if you plug your USB inside it's just going to start Ubuntu okay <clears throat> now mind Q instruction that for up and down press F6 to pull it up and down for F5 um, already done this so I'm just going to exit without the without any change now since I already plug it in my uh, USB it's a uh, 8 gigabyte and you wanna select the first one run from the USB uh, if you want to save this in your hard drive somewhere in your hard drive you can save this as well I mean just select the second one I guess uh, I didn't have a chance to show you that but um, well like I said this is the full Ubuntu <clears throat> might take a little bit little while to uh, start it up not really it worked pretty well uh, because I already started first time and this is the second time I'm using it and that's why it was it was really fast but it might take a little while okay all right I just provide that password for uh, network connection um, as you can see this is Ubuntu right here everything okay it's that easy and I'm going to close this let's say just turn this off because uh, I want to show you the one one of the program uh, because last time when I installed Ubuntu on my hard drive there was a problem and then when I every time when I boot my uh, computer it would not boot from Windows so there is a certain command command prompt and everything that that um, you need to use for it um, to to get your original Windows because last time I actually did um, reset the factory default and everything I tried so many things but I, I it was my bad luck that I, I didn't find anything and then I found this one website uh, that that showed me how to do all those stuff to get the original window once you uninstall the Ubuntu from your um, current computer laptop or current running OS uh, Mac or Windows um, the website I think provide only Windows for right now but um, I mean you can check it out anytime you can go to any program and look for it so I will provide that as well and so this is my video about the Ubuntu 10.10 .10 that is uh, on USB
I don't know if you can okay there you go it's a cruiser I have the Sandisk cruiser um, 8 gigabyte so works great this is my Acer laptop it's been a year this is running pretty good as well just want to show you how does it look this is the basic system okay now I, I turn my computer off okay now if I if I pull this out USB as you can see this one got the Ubuntu on this and um, if you start your computer and if you uh, if you already uninstall it it's it's going to start the windows all right just want to show you the website um, how how the website can help you because I have tried everything like I said I I called the uh, Acer company and I mean they didn't support me because they said it's, it's it, it is something that I need to pay for it and uh, and I don't want to pay for it so and I look for everywhere but there was one website that I found and uh, provide me very easy way to to uh, get my windows back it's instant this is the first time I'm using the Ubuntu again um, haven't tried or experienced anything after that okay all right this is the big link and it is a make use of dot com this is going to be whole link from windows dual boot environment okay um once you go down i mean there are really great amount of uh, help here what you can do and what you don't need to do because if you create a, a separate separate partition on your hard drive um, you gotta delete all those stuff I mean if you wanted to delete the Ubuntu if we, you know sometimes you you can get confused that you already delete the Ubuntu but it's it's still uh, keeping your space if you use if you use 10 or 20 gigabyte I mean it's going to keep that space on your hard drive so you, your windows have less space about that about 20 gigs if you use 20 then you know um, this is if you have Windows 7 I'm not sure about Windows Vista but uh, you wanna create this this thing will help you a lot okay it's a system recovery disk make the system recovery disk you can do so much of this uh, you can use it as a startup um, most of the time you're going to if you have the problem when you download a Ubuntu you, you want to use this startup repair uh, that will actually almost clear down everything but for this one you want to go to command prop right down there all the way down and uh, you have these two commands um, if you if you just just type both command and then reboot uh, reboot your computer again just restart it uh, and once you restart it should be coming or everything should be normal just like before just like if you are using a windows 7 or windows vista um, so this website will help you a lot uh, i will just post this website on on YouTube thanks for watching the video of Ubuntu on the micro SD I mean USB port on my Sandisk thank you for watching if you like it just subscribe if you don't that's fine I just I just want to make it easier for a new user because first time when I use it it, it, it is a uh, um, I don't know I, I didn't have any idea what is the Ubuntu was so 
and I'm sure many of people don't and they want to learn from it I guess if this can help you anything then I'll be more than happy to just provide this video thank you